yeah. and then I can see some dried chilies also. Yes. Okay. Fermented uh, yak cheese. Fermented yak cheese. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And just eat with the uh, rice. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Timpu, Bhutan. Today is a, we have a pretty tight schedule and we are starting off the day, we are walking to the Folk Heritage Museum and Restaurant, which is a kind of museum cultural Bhutanese restaurant. That's where we're heading first and then we have a little bit of sightseeing to do and should be a fun day. Taxi driver just dropped us off at the Folk Heritage Museum and Restaurant. Stepping inside right now, and I know this is a very old Bhutanese house complex, uh, and it doubles as a museum and restaurant. And from what I've heard, they serve very authentic and traditional Bhutanese dishes. We just met with the owner, and she explained to us a little bit about the restaurant and. Uh, really, she really aims to preserve the original and authentic recipes of Bhutanese cuisine and also use organic, locally grown produce and ingredients from Bhutan, which is really good. She's also a purveyor of Bhutanese cuisine and so she's traveled around and she has uh, shared Bhutanese cuisine with uh, in other countries as well. And so she is preparing some traditional dishes for us to try and I am hungry in anticipation. So here I have this, this is a green, a sweet buckwheat green. Okay. Um, this used to be very popular in the olden days uh -huh. and especially in Bumdang region they grew this. Okay. So this is a noodle that again we prepare, this is bitter buckwheat. Oh, so two different kinds. This is even more healthier than this. Oh, wow. And even more, I mean, this is the dehydrated fern. You must have seen those black packets. Yes. When you cook, it becomes like this. Okay. It's a fern, like, which we have dehydrated. So this, now it's out of season. This is the chicken with gravy. Chicken with, with gravy? Sauce, yeah. Okay. And there here we have the fermented, uh, fermented soybean. Oh, okay. With bamboo shoot. Mmm, yeah. fermented and, soybean uh, yeah. with bamboo shoot. Yeah. Buckwheat pancake. Buckwheat pancake. And that is barley. 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 You've heard about it, no? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a, it's a cereal, um, green. Okay. So, this is also very good. How do you, how do you eat this? Um, you like can, rice? Or you... You can break it. Piece? And then put, add a little bit of butter. This butter. Oh, okay. And then you put it in whatever you want. This is uh, beef jerky. Again, we have used, uh, used a little bit of fermented cheese. That's a yak cheese. That's something. And then the yellow one there in the bowl is the chanterelle mushroom. It's off season, but I have uh, preserved in salt brine. And then this is the potato with cheese, which I'm sure you have kawadasi. Mm -hmm. Kawadasi? Yeah, it's a signature dish of Bhutan. And this, oh, this is the imbatasi, fresh cottage cheese. Oh, okay. And uh, soft uh, dry chilies. Okay. So this emadatsi is typically eaten in the western part of Bhutan. A lot of our emadatsi goes into the uh, nobility's families, like people will say, oh, Amzam's emadatsi. So they will love this emadatsi. And then we have the dried pork, a dried pork. It has a lot of fat. So okay. because uh, it's cold, <laughs> so people like, like mm -hmm. to eat a lot of mm -hmm. fat. Kesan. Mm -hmm. Choden, mm -hmm. who is the owner of this restaurant, she has presented us with a beautiful feast of Bhutanese food and done a great job at explaining the entire meal. And I'm gonna sample this suja first. This suja, which is the butter tea, is actually made with mistletoe leaves. So it's a type of herbal tea. And then she also uses yak butter. <laughs> Why don't you? Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah, it's very good. It is a little bit salty and it's it's a little bit like smoother than other versions I've had. Maybe because of the mistletoe mm. instead of the actual tea. Yeah, yeah it's more smooth yeah, maybe and, and kind of woody. The other suja that you might have tried would have been a little bit rancid, rancid butter. Oh, okay. Rancid butter. Okay. Mm. And that yak butter. <clears throat> that yak butter is really creamy. 
Oh, yeah, that has a woody, a woody taste to it. Yeah. yeah. So, so water used to be, had to come up from outside. So people would either have to wash their hands outside, mm -hmm. or then, or when you sit like this, then you would take a bit of rice, and then roll it in mm. your hand. This is to clean your hands, you know. Oh, okay. So we just roll it, and then we clean our hands with this. Wow, okay. And then we think, put it at the side. Okay. And then you then you and start then you eating. Start eating. You, you can do that. A traditional Bhutanese food is all served and eaten from wooden bowls. And previously there were no spoons or metal cutlery available and so everyone eats with their fingers and their hands. And so one of the problems that the owner has explained to me is that using metal spoons on the wooden bowls really deteriorates the bowls. And so it's Oh, I, I really enjoy eating with my fingers, so I'm gonna eat with my fingers, and also it's better for the bowls. And she just showed me one of the traditional methods of cleaning your hands, and what you do is you take a little bit of rice into your bowl. Sometimes water is not always available in the villages, and so what they would do is take a little, take a little ball of rice like this, and just put it into your palm, and just sort of let me see. Oh, first you have to you make it a ball first. Okay, yeah. so it doesn't... St and the stickiness, you make it kind of a ball. Ball, and see. then you just rub it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mine is a little messier, but... Oh, there we go. Actually, it'll become like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try for that. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. My little rice ball has stuck together. And what you do is you kind of just mm -hmm. roll it around in your... Yeah. Oh man, mine broke apart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Oh wait, coming. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. And then I think the like the stickiness of the rice um, cleans your hands. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mine is not quite yeah. as tight as hers, but yeah. that's all right. <laughs> okay. And then you save that over here on your table, mm -hmm. and then you can reuse it to wash your hands once you're done eating. Okay. That is really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I really enjoy that. This one is sweet buckwheat. Yeah, sweet, sweet buckwheat grain. Okay, sweet buckwheat grain, and I don't think I've had this so far since yeah, being is, in Bhutan. Uh, yeah, this is uh, gluten free. Okay. Low cholesterol. Low very carbs, healthy. Very healthy. Yeah, that looks really good. And then this one is bitter buckwheat, uh, made into noodles, which is also a traditional uh, dish. Oh, these look really good. Okay. These are the dried fiddlehead ferns, mm -hmm. uh, which have been dehydrated and then recooked. Mm -hmm. And these look really good. They're almost like noodles. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is something I haven't tried yet either. It's a roasted barley dough. Oh yeah, that feels very like a dough. Yeah. Mm. And let me add this to my yeah. my starch a bit of butter, base. Butter. Oh, a little bit of butter. You should add a little bit of butter to that paste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You can. I think you have to start now. You can dip it um, in that uh, chili sauce. Dip it, dip it into this. Is in this is um, bamboo shoots and fermented beans. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh yeah, that is delicious. A very sticky dough. You can definitely taste the fermented beans in that sauce mm -hmm. and plus the kind of sourish uh, bamboo shoots in there with that bamboo shoot crunch. This one is the, the beef jerky, dried beef, and it's also prepared with some yak cheese. Yeah. And then I can see some dried chilies also? Yes, okay. fermented uh, yak cheese. Fermented yak cheese, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just eat with the rice? Yeah. <laughs> I love the dried beef jerky in Bhutan, but that has an extra dimension of flavor to it with that yak cheese. That's like a, kind of like a salty, almost blue cheese tasting, like coating around the, the dried beef jerky. Mm -hmm. And then the beef jerky, again, it's nice and tender and easy to chew and really good. Now you try with the air-dried pork. Oh, okay. The air-dried pork. With the rice. Okay. Where's your rice? Yes. No, the other rice. Oh, the other rice. <laughs> <laughs> it is rice. below. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. Oh, air-dried pork with chilies and 
to eat with the rice and it is quite fatty. Well, mm. almost all fat, but um, it is very popular to eat, especially in the winter time when it's cold. It almost like kind of juices with that fat, but it is very flavorful and you can taste kind of a, a dried, a little bit of a dried flavor to it as well. This is the central mushroom. Okay. Okay. And this is the famous emadasi. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's marvelous. Those mushrooms are so good and so meaty. Oh, but what really had some good flavor was that emadatsi. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is glorious. Mm -hmm. The dried chilies really stand out. And then that cottage cheese. Yeah, it tastes like very crumbly cottage cheese that is very fresh and tastes incredibly good. Yeah, that's delicious. But those dried chilies really stand out nicely. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna serve myself a little bit of the chicken curry. Mm -hmm. And then this one is the kewadatsi, yeah, kewadatsi. Uh, cheese with potatoes. potatoes. Oh. In Bhutan we use a lot of cheese, you know? A lot of cheese, yes. Yeah, a lot of cheese. And I gotta try some of this chili powder. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then... You can break a small buckwheat. And then these are buckwheat pancakes to eat with uh, everything. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can, we can eat okay. potatoes. I'm gonna try the buckwheat pancake along with some of the kewadatsi. Oh, and I gotta get some of that chili on there. Okay. In that chili sauce, I can definitely taste the Sichuan pepper. The buckwheat pancake is a little bit dry and a little bit crumbly. And then the potato. Mm. The potato, the cheese is not too strong, but just a good thin cheese sauce. And then the potato again is, is really silky smooth as opposed to being starchy. Let me try some of these fiddlehead ferns. Well, you haven't tried that. I don't think I've tried. They have some texture to them. Kind of a, a little bit of a rubbery texture, but very easy to chew still. And then, actually, they almost have like a, taste like noodles, but with like a, a green vegetable flavor to them. I like it, really good. Lastly, another. It's a. It's is a it? green chili. An easy. Okay. Easy with tomatoes, uh, onions, again fresh uh, cow cheese. Mm. I will mix that into my <laughs> my rice <laughs> and my. Oh, 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 I love that. That's like a. It's like a salsa, but with cottage cheese in it. Oh, it's so good. I am just loving this meal. The food is extremely good. And in particular, this emadatsi, which is a, a different style from what I've had so far, is just exquisitely good. And those mushrooms, oh yeah, everything. She has prepared some truly outstanding Bhutanese traditional cuisine. And those noodles, those buckwheat noodles are also delicious. Mmm, it's so good. The emadati, those dried chilies, the crumbly cottage cheese, the flavors are just wonderful. I don't know how pretty this is gonna be, but I'm definitely gonna try. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, the ball of rice is sort of, oh, it's all cold now. <laughs> uh oh, I don't know, I don't know how to keep it in such a tight ball. Okay. This will be my little napkin. Ah, okay, that might not work too well for me, but oh, it sort of does clean off your fingers. And then I think I can, I think I can wipe the remaining on my, on my pants. <laughs> that was uh, an incredibly good experience. Not only is the food stunning, but the owner, her knowledge of Bhutanese food and preserving Bhutanese culture through food is really what shines. She's really nice and I learned a lot about Bhutanese food and culture during that meal. That was just a marvelous experience. We have a little bit of time so we're just walking through Timpu city center. 
and just kind of hanging out, leisurely strolling. We walked around for a while and then we ended up going to a cafe and doing a little bit of email. And now it's just about time for dinner. We are gonna meet up with Matt tonight and go to a restaurant. Matt just brought us over to New Restaurant, which is just a really small little hole in the wall, kind of closet sized restaurant. We got a seat inside, and I think I'm sitting on a plank of wood over some boxes, but it's nice in here and really cold outside, so we just ordered a cup of tea. Oh, that is some good chai. Oh, it's really fragrant with cardamom. You can really taste the cardamom in there. Mm. Momos have just emerged from the steamer. Let me add some sauce aze to the to the plate. Here you go, man. And these are veg momos, and they are very similar to like um, one ton looking shape wise. Oh yeah. Is it cheers, man? <laughs> cheers. The momo cheers. <laughs> It's tradition, dude. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Those are heavy on the cabbage, which is really good. <laughs> Matt just went down, went next door and bought these, which are like deep fried puffs. Maybe, maybe a type of samosa? And I have no clue what's in them, so I will find out. It's gonna be a surprise. <laughs> that is just packed tight, full of like masala potatoes. Mm. Mm. You can taste the cumin in there. And then the wrapper is like a, it's almost kind of bready, like a roti that's crispy. We also ordered a couple of paratas, which are like fried uh, kind of chapatis. And there's definitely something stuffed inside. Maybe it looks kind of like mashed potatoes. And that is nice and hot and fresh. Um, I will add a little bit of this. Oh, this is like a, I think this is a pickle, a mixed vegetable pickle. And it's very similar to a slice of pizza. Mm. Except it doesn't taste anything like pizza. It's like crispy chapati with I think that is like mashed potatoes, like kind of silky mashed potatoes in the middle. And maybe just spiced with a hint of cilantro. That was some really good tasty snack food. And we are now gonna proceed on to another little restaurant similar to this called Hunger Strike. Hunger Strike. I think it's called it's called Hunger Strike, which is another one of Matt's favorite spots. Uh, with a name like Hunger Strike, I don't think you can go wrong. <laughs> Hunger Strike. The rolls. Rolls. stuff over there, or the veggie rolls. They have good momos, they have non cheese momos also. Has to be one of the world's greatest restaurant food stall names ever. We just ordered a veg and a beef roll. They're almost like little burritos. Let's see, let's find out what's in this one. Oh yeah, that's the beef. Gotta dip that in some Eze. Oh, I lost a piece of beef. <laughs> okay, I'll scoop that back on. Oh yeah. That is tasty in that like salty, oily kind of way that tastes so good. That was a great way to end the day. Especially I enjoyed the first meal today at the Folk Heritage Museum. That was really a great learning experience. We're gonna head home from here, so I'm gonna end the vlog. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also leave a comment below. So I will see you tomorrow.